What's up you guys, this is Jamie the RT, and in this video I'm going to show you how to pass the CSE exam in three easy steps. Step 1. Learn all the glossary terms, specifically from Kettering, Clinical Simulation Workshop Lecture Notes Book, Section F5. Learning all the glossary terms from this book will give you a general understanding of what tests and decisions to apply to the scenario you encounter. The other book, Clinical Simulation Workshop, Practice Problems, it's not fully necessary to pass the CSE, but it's always helpful to use. I personally didn't use it, but as long as you focus on other sources to practice from, you should be set. Step 2. Know your pathology and conditions. From the same book, you want to go to D5, Pathology Review. Now this is towards the front of the book. But I do recommend you do the glossary terms first because you'll know all the tests and you'll know have an understanding of what, what it applies to. So take the time to learn as much as you can about each disease process including diagnostic testing, normal values, x-ray results, and treatments. If you started reading the glossary terms first then it should get you thinking about the ones that apply to the diseases. Pay close attention to breast sounds, x-ray, chest radiograph results because these could help you clearly decide what you need done to the patient or what kind of um, intervention you need to take during a simulation. Step 3. Test your knowledge. Tutorial systems is less difficult but more similar to the MBRC. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I think it's like $20 a month, but um, I also heard that you know, if you don't pass the first time, they refund you. So, uh, you gotta you gotta get into that. But um, also, Lindsey Jones is more difficult with longer simulations. So the way I look at it is, Lindsey Jones is still good practice. So if you're able to at least do good on Lindsey Jones, then you should have no problem taking the MBRC. But if you want to start off with something less difficult, tutorial systems, I highly recommend it. You know, it's it is like a monthly fee for it. But at the end of the day, it's worth it if you only want to if you want to pass the CSE like the first time around. I also added an like for free download. It's going to be in the description, a link to my outline that I've created specifically for the CSE. And it looks like this. Now, this is a list of possible answers that you have with each type of disease process. So if you know you're dealing with asthma, for example, obviously get pulse ox, select pulse ox as an answer, select general appearance. So I kind of did that with this with the list of diseases. Now again, it could always be different. This is just a general like understanding of what you should know. And then I've also added, just skip through this. You know, weaning parameters, you know, the norms, RSBI, intubation equipment and the technique you use, pulmonary artery catheter assessment, you know, answers that you're going to be selecting that associates with these. And then this highlighted in yellow is just going to be random, you know, facts and random things that you need to know that will help you during the simulation. So I provided this in the link in the description. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you pass the CSE exam.